celebrating our beloved women of the UAE. It's Emirati Women's Day, only on Pulse 95. Emirati Women, Emirati Women, Emirati Women. Yeah, continuing with the celebrations of the Emirati Women's Day, we're very kindly going to be speaking to uh, an individual who we've had a chat on Pulse 95 before uh, and has been working on a project that, that, that really shines the spotlight on the sustainability efforts here in the Emirate of Sharjah, particularly when it comes to the waste to energy plant in Sharjah. We're very kind, uh, kindly joined uh, by North Wazir, who is the lead engineer at BR, a very good Good morning to you and thank you for joining us today hello good morning thank you for having me and i wish a good morning to all the listeners of pulse 95 radio well thank you very much once again for kindly joining us now north wazir as a lead engineer bia and also working within uh, the energy sector of the emirate of Sharjah and the uae what does the emirati women's day mean to you on a personal level so uh, to me, Emirati Women's Day is a special occasion that recognizes the accomplishments of the women in the UAE. The challenges and opportunities for Emirati women are unique. And this day is a celebration for how far women have reached in shaping our society year after year. Uh, so for me, on a personal level, it is also a time to reflect on my own unique experience as an Emirati, as a woman, and also as an engineer. So uh, it is a day where I feel empowered by the motivation and support that we receive from the leadership, of course, of our nation, and the remarkable progress that uh, we have achieved all together. Um, the UAE is a global example in many ways, uh, including empowering women to contribute to the national successes. and. Uh, from the formation of the union, the, the role of women in developing Emirati society was always been a focus for the founders. So not many nations can say the same. And uh, today the UAE has created an environment where Emirati women can seamlessly pursue uh, their chosen fields or paths and achieve success. And uh, this day is also a reminder that the U that my UAE-based education and career with BIA and Emirates Waste Energy can truly be pioneering. Uh, the Sharjah Waste Energy plant that I'm currently working at is the first commercial scale plant in the Middle East, as uh, as you might have uh, mentioned. And I'm honestly proud to be uh, part of this team. No, definitely. And I, I'd love to know a little bit more about that role that you have. Of course, being that lead engineer, can you dissect and break down to the basics as to what it actually entails, but also the support that you've witnessed provided from the Emirate of Sharjah in terms of achieving that role? Yes, so my role uh, as a lead engineer at Emirates Waste Energy um, is um, basically I supervise the development and implementation of innovative energy projects, not only uh, waste energy. And uh, these projects are being developed on a local and also an international level. So as a part of my role, I primarily focus on integrating sustainability into initiatives by implementing strategies that re reduce carbon emissions, enhancing energy efficiency, and promoting energy transition as well. So my role involves mainly project management, um, technical expertise, stakeholder management, regulatory compliance, and also, of course, leveraging, leveraging uh, innovation. So uh, the plant uh, has successfully uh, been developed and it's currently generating power, exceeding actually the design standards uh, while utilizing the best available techniques. And we were only able to achieve that with the uh, brilliant vision of our leaders um, they had a focus on the importance of sustainability and uh, digitalization. So this is what we have realized and uh, achieved actually um, and implemented uh, for this project and uh, the other projects that we're working on. Amazing. Now, if you, a lot of listeners out there and a lot of young Emirati women would be listening to this conversation and thinking, wow, the Emirates Waste 2 Energy Plant and now we've been given access to Nerf Wazir through this conversation. Uh, if you could explain to them, firstly, how does this Waste 2 Energy work? And how, how, do we, how are we generating power with the, with the, the waste that we're recycling? And um, if you would like to inspire them to pursue a career in the energy sector as well, what would you say to them? 
So, uh, to put to be put simply, and I'm trying to avoid being too technical yeah. about this. Um, <laughs> basically, uh, the air receives all the waste that uh, Sharja is generating. So the general waste gets sent to a specific plant that we have in uh, the air waste management complex. This plant is designed to segregate uh, the recyclers out of the general waste. So this is the first step. We are taking out all the recyclers that have value from the waste. And then whatever cannot be recycled or it's, it's difficult to recycle, to be recycled is sent to our plant. So basically the output of that plant is the input to our plant. And this is where we actually uh, are implementing circular economy. We're trying our best to recycle everything that is exiting every single plant that we have here in Bia. So uh, to be put simply, we're just uh, taking the waste and then sending it into a combustion chamber to be burned. And then the whole idea of the plant is to basically use that heat that is generated by the combustion. So that heat uh, basically uh, heats up some water inside some water pipes and then water will turn into superheated steam. The steam will in turn uh, run a steam turbine. So to be put simply, this is how we generate electricity. Uh, so I think this project has been a significant one for Sharjah and uh, my advice for, for girls that is that um, it's very interesting to enter a field, uh, a STEM field like this one. And uh, I think most, most girls are uh, shaped in a way that steers away from STEM fields. So I think uh, uh, this has been uh, what's happening around the years, but uh, we have reached a point in the UAE and in the world where we are seeing much more contribution of women and, and we're showing, we're seeing their actual capabilities mm. when it comes to different fields. So I think uh, it's a wonderful uh, opportunity to work in such uh, a field and to study such a field as well. No, I completely agree. And I think not just here in the UAE, but across the globe, the engineering sector as a whole has been male dominated for many, many years. So hearing your story, hearing your journey yes. is truly, truly inspiring. I want to learn a little bit more about what's going on at, with beer, because yes, of course, we just highlighted the waste to energy plant, but that's not all that's happening. We've got the waste to hydrogen plant, and we know about the huge potential that hydrogen has as a form of energy. Can you talk to us a little bit about this plant and also potentially about the potential hydrogen might have in the future? Yes, so hydrogen is actually a very big topic uh, currently in renewables. Um, uh, you would hear about a lot of many hydrogen projects. And we have announced in COP28 that we are uh, developing a waste to hydrogen project. So uh, this project uh, also uh, basically transforms waste into hydrogen using another technology that is called gasification. So the basic idea is that we're going to turn waste into hydrogen and then use that hydrogen um, for many different purposes. So this is the idea in summary. Uh, but we're not only working on waste to hydrogen, we're also working on uh, solar projects as well. Uh, so we have also announced in COP28 um, the solar landfill project, which would be the first solar landfill project in, uh, in the UAE. Um, it's also a very exciting one. It's going to generate 120 megawatts of energy. So there are honestly there are a lot of things that we're working on right now, and uh, honestly the sky is the limit. Like every single day we uh, we get a new opportunity, uh, and all of that is based on the success of our first project, which is the Sharjah Waste Energy, which was honestly a big challenge because it's it was it is it still is the first uh, commercial waste energy in the region and. We faced a lot of challenges to to develop it. So after the success of this project, now um, we're working on a lot of other projects. Definitely, I think there's lots to look forward to and lots to hear uh, from BS perspective as well. Uh, now, going back to Nuf Wazir as an individual, uh, what's your journey been like? You know, from your time at university to to secure a role as a lead engineer, and who has uh, been your role model when you were growing up? Yes, so uh, my journey uh, has been honestly a rewarding one. Um, I started my career here eight years ago as wow. a graduate trainee. Uh, 
and this gave me the opportunity to explore different areas of the business. And honestly, on a personal level, um, I'm born and raised in Sharjah. And I remember when I was in college, the first time I heard about Bia, I, I was telling my friends that I have to work at this company. I was so inspired. And alhamdulillah, I got the opportunity uh, to be part of Bia. And I honestly uh, developed my skills a lot along the years. So, uh, and I also found my passion and uh, expertise and, and experience. So, uh, I believe that BIA is the perfect choice for young female graduates looking for a platform to start their careers um, and recycling. Uh, when it comes to waste management and recycling, of course, uh, as well as uh, many different industries, including clean energy and environmental matters, technology as well. So, uh, I'm currently we're focusing on unlocking technologies when it comes to clean energy projects uh, as uh, we are managing and developing uh, clean energy projects and um, it is exciting to be part of something new and innovative uh, uh, to be part of such an organization mm. so uh, when it comes to my uh, my role model growing up uh, it's my mother <laughs> she has been my role model um, her name is Hens al and she has been my greatest inspiration. She was actually one of the first uh, women to work on uh, Sharjah TV when it was uh, first, uh, you know, uh, commissioned. And I remember her telling us about all the challenges that she has been facing being a woman, you know, and being in a male-dominated field. So. You can see how I got the inspiration mm. to be one myself and uh, I have seen how the perfect representation of a successful uh, Emirati woman through her balancing a demanding uh, career with family life hasn't been easy but she did it so effortlessly and such grace. So um, like every single day I'm thankful for her and proud of what she has achieved and I honestly wish I could uh, turn uh, like <laughs> as successful as she was in life in general. Amazing. Wow, it's truly inspirational and I, I love the journey particularly because yours goes against the stigma of the engineering sector that it is catered for males predominantly and I would like to know if that is some advice that you would potentially give to a young listener out there, a young Emirati listener is regardless of what your dream is and what the stigma around that dream might be, still pursue it and give it all your best. Yes, so uh, as you uh, said, uh, I think at this time and age, uh, there are many requirements that are new uh, to the world, including technology, AI, and engineering is important uh, more than ever in today's world. It's very required. So we're facing a lot of challenges, including climate change, uh, we need talented researchers, scientists, engineers to develop sustainable solutions. And I think the industry is becoming increasingly focused on emission reduction and energy efficiency. So I encourage young uh, girls to pursue such fields and uh, to uh, basically uh, have experience uh, in uh, such sectors to, in order to find an innovative solutions for engineering and sustainability. I always had this uh, discussion with many people and we were saying that what's the best thing about the younger generation is that they are open-minded mm. um, compared to classical, you know, old people <laughs> who think <laughs> in a classic way when it comes to engineering and these matters. So I think uh, because of today, uh, today's con like the world's condition, we are all the time facing new challenges and I think these new challenges require thinking outside the box and this is where the role of uh, of the youth comes especially girls of course mm. so uh this is my advice for all the girls amazing well no if it's well, once again it's been a pleasure to have you on air with us uh, with those inspiring words and also motivating us as well the mm. early this morning as we continue to celebrate the emirati women's day thank you so much thank you for having Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to catch that conversation, you can do as a podcast. Just head online to SoundCloud, Apple Podcast and Spotify.